Welcome to the fifth episode on CDP4. What we'll show you today is how to make publications and why would you even want to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect to a server. So I put the name of the server, I have the username and password that should be, uh, let's say, familiar to you by now. I hit OK and I open a session. Once I've done that, I'm going to open the model that I'm going to work in. So it's the demonstration model that we uh, created in the previous episode and I'm going to be representing the system engineering domain of expertise. So I select that and I click on the select button. So now I've opened the model. I go to the model tab. I want to show you the element definitions tree, the product tree, so that we can see what is happening. I nicely split the two so that I have a full view. <clears throat> So what you see today is that we have, um, in a previous episode, uh, added, let's say, these building blocks to the model. I said I have a space mission which contains a launcher and a satellite. I have a satellite that contains batteries and reaction wheels which are defined above. Uh, and what I also did last time was I changed the value of the battery, which had no value first, or was the default value, which is a hyphen or minus sign. And I changed it to five, and I changed the mass of my reaction wheel to six. And what you notice is that in the product tree, um, these values are not yet visible. So the rest of the team uh, that may be working uh, with my parameters, because that is the reason we are sharing those parameters, is so that the others can work with it, they don't uh, see those values yet. And the reason we do that is to have a design gate uh, before we flood our team members with continuously changing values. Let's assume that I'm doing a lot of analysis to determine what the mass of the battery should be like or the mass of my reaction wheel, and I continuously change those values from five to six to seven, maybe to one, etc. And if I were to do that and send those updates to the server continuously, my team members would go crazy. They would continuously see different values, uh, which would make it very difficult for them to work. So while I am still determining what the value of my parameters sh should be, uh, I can do that in isolation without bothering the rest of the team. Now, of course, at one point in time, uh, you have to decide that those values are actually the values that you want to share with the team uh, and that they should use as the basis for their work. Uh, and that we do by creating a publication. Uh, so what we're doing is we're actually publishing the values so that they become available to the rest of the team. And to make that more explicit, you see here that we have a parameter that has something called the published value, computed value, manual value, reference value, and formula. And I'm going to focus only on manual value and published value. So those two slots uh, to specify what the value of a parameter is. Now typically when you start a concurrent design uh, session or activity, uh, basically nobody knows what the mission will look like. So you have to work on best estimates or guesstimates. So that's what I did. In a previous episode when I provided a value of five and a value of six for the mass of the battery and the reaction wheel respectively, I said, I've done a mission like this before, and then we used a battery that had a mass of five kilogram and a reaction wheel that had a mass of six kilogram. Now, it doesn't really matter that much that I may be way off. It's better to start with something than with nothing, because if everybody waits on each other to specify what the system will look like, we can wait for a very long time. Um, so I say I'm putting in the manual value. I can also enter it in the CDP by just doing inline edits, as you can see, or by popping the details dialog of the parameter saying edit and then changing the value here. Um, and as you noticed, the published value had not yet changed. And the published value is that value of the parameter that the rest of the team will see, whether they just look at the parameter or when they use it as an input for their computation. Um, so in order to get the five uh, published, I have to make a publication. So what I do now is I go to the model tab, I go to the publication uh, button, 
and I open the publication. So here you see that in this list, I see all the domains of expertise that are available in this model. Um, and I also see that in the system engineering domain, two values are ready to be published. And you can also see what the uh, old value was, what the new value would be, and what the percent change is going to be. Now, this is, of course, only valid for those parameters that are numerical in nature. Otherwise, it would be rather difficult to compute. Um, and in this case, yeah, the percent change doesn't really make sense because we went from uh, not a value to a value. Um, so that's why you don't see uh, any numbers here. So depending on how you organize your team, you can choose that everybody is allowed to publish values or that the system engineer does that or maybe the team leader. Uh, but remember that you have to actively publish values to make them available to the rest of the team. So I can choose to uh, publish, let's say, these two parameters independently or in one go. Uh, and that's what I will do. So I select the domain of expertise, which auto-selects everything below, and I click on the publish button. So now you see that I've created a publication, um, sort of it remembers what parameters we actually published. Uh, and here you can see, and I'm going to close this window, that none of the parameters are in boldface blue anymore, which means that they are uh, not ready to be published. They have been published and you see that the manual value and the published value are now the same and the same here. So you see that now I've actually told all the team members that I say that battery one and battery two have a mass of five kilograms and reaction wheel one to reaction wheel four have a mass of six kilograms. And that's how easy it is to publish uh, values and to make them available to the rest of the team. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.